All right, here we go, guys, and we are back at the 2024 Tobey Boat Show in Long Island, New York, right by Jones Beach, and this is going to be the third and final installment of the Pilot House series. We previously looked at the small pilot houses, then the mid-sized pilot houses, and today we're going to go over the larger pilot houses. In this case, 27 to 28 feet. We're going to look at an offering from Defiance, their 27-footer. An offering from North Coast, their 28-footer. And finally, we're going to look at one but really two different Steiger 28s. We're going to really spend a lot of time on the Peconic. Uh, but at the end, we're going to show the, the 28 Miami as well, just what it costs. It's ostensibly the same boat. It's the same length, same beam, same dead rise, same fuel, same everything. Just a slightly different interior layout. Hope you guys enjoy this video. As always, if you like these videos, hit that like button. If you're not already a subscriber and you like content like this, please consider subscribing. And we will start the festivities off with the Defiance Admiral 270 built in the great state of Washington. And we're looking at a big pilot house here, a 27 foot 270 Admiral made by Defiance Pacific Northwest. Twin Yamaha F300s, the V6 4.2 liter block with the new, oh no, this is not the new steering, that's good. That might explain why it's a little cheaper than I thought it'd be. 209,990, uh, yeah. Looks like it has a decent amount of options. It has those suspension seats we saw on the smaller 22 Defiance. Let's take a look inside. And yeah, so this is a 270, not counting the bracket here. And boy, oh boy, the amount of fishing room on this boat, it's nice and wide too. Uh, never can tell if the GoPro does it justice, but you gotta trust me, it's big and wide. It does have a flip up bench seat here, bilge access there. You got a center box here. Is this a fishing box or storage? Yeah, look at that, just a massive storage box. Two more boxes on each side here. More storage under here, including a rear bench seat. <laughs> More rod holders than you'll ever need. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then on the inside, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So you have 14 rod holders just over here. More rod holders on the gunnel. Bunch more rod holders in the back. If you remove this bench uh, seating here, or the, the cushion here, you'd get a couple more. Um, let's step into the cabin. There is a step down, but it's not bad. Yeah, lots of headroom in here. Seating for two on this side, seating for two on this side. The shockwave seats on the uh, operator side and the passenger side. Interesting spot for a porta potty or a toilet, uh, but you are somewhat limited in a boat style like this. Nice big area for two people, three kids, um, to get out of the elements, take a nap, see a, an access port there for your anchor locker. Very nice setup. And with the 600 horsepower, she should scoot. I do like this one. Yeah, and uh, plenty of headroom. It's way above my head. Six feet tall, have no issue standing up in here. And we didn't talk about this, but a ton of storage in here. On each side, you have all these little storage areas. Very, very nice. And I know we talked about this, but there's just a massive, and I mean massive amount of fishing room on this. Right, 285. North Coast, twin Yamaha 300s, 240 gallons of fuel, 10,000, full weight. Uh, beautiful pilot house. Somebody's on it right now. We'll shut the camera off for a second. No price on this one, but the dealer's on there. We're sold by Whitewater Boats in the Hamptons. Uh, we'll see if we can get a price on this. And we looked at a 23 earlier that didn't have a price too. We'll try to get a price on both. And uh, yeah, we'll check out this 285. All right, we are going to get a price on this from the nice salesman. Um, 159 was the price on the 23T, but I love the layout of these North Coasts. They are just so functional. You do see it's bracketed. Um, live well here, I presume this is a kill box here. Yeah, it's a little bait prep area. Um, very nice. It is on a tension hinge. You got a flip up uh, rear bench seat here. 
I'm hoping this is Bill Jackson. Please let it be Bill Jackson. Yes. Nice, huge Bill Jackson. Very, very nice. Um, you do have two big fish boxes on each side. You have the step up here if you do want to go up to the bow. Level deck, which I love. Big fish box here too, or storage. Oh no. Look at this. What is this? This is your tank. Oh, look at that. Yeah. So easy access to your uh, fuel tank here. Batteries are here too. Parker, take note um, <laughs> where you can put your batteries away from the bilge. Seating for two on each side, plus two drive, uh, the driver and a passenger here. Storage under here, footrest there. No electronics on this one. We're gonna get the price. Uh, digital throttles, windows that open, windshield wiper, side windows as well. Storage area here. Step down for the cabin. Huge cabin, look at that. Berth in there, and oh, you gotta love this. Uh, let's step down. A separate head. Oh, I'm in love. Uh, no toilet under the bedding. Uh, lots of storage here too. Uh, really nice functional layout in here. You can really overnight in this, um, truly, uh, especially if you don't like to sleep over your poop. Um, separate head area is a great thing for that. And uh, yeah, just a, a ton of room on this boat. Beautiful boat. Do we have a price? 255. 255. I love the fact that it has a separate head. Yeah, I know. It's that's cool. that's amazing. Yeah. yeah. Beautiful boat. All right, the North Coast 28, 255. Look at this big Steiger craft, a 28 Deep V Peconic. Uh, Peconic happens to be my local waterway in eastern Long Island, so I'm partial to this. See, this one has a bow thruster, and I guess the Peconic doesn't have the full cabin. It, it's still a pilot house, but it kind of has that half cabin, um, as opposed to the Miami, which has the more sheltered cabin like we see over there. Um, take a quick look at the pricing on this. See, it's a fully bracketed boat, boarding ladder. Twin Yamaha F300s. I'm just gonna sneak in here for one second. No, you're good. I'm sorry. Um, so the regular price is 278, 330. This one is a demo, so 264. But we're gonna go with that price, 278. Step on board and take a look. And oh boy, huge boat. Um, First of all, on this one at least, lots and lots of rod holders here, cup holder here, let's step inside. Got a ginormous bench seat here. You see it is on those stands that kick out of the way. There's your bilge axis there. This is a box here, a fish box. You can have a big live well here. More rod holders here. Those are F300s if we didn't mention it. This is what Steiger's known for. These weight boxes, sinker boxes. You put your sinkers in here, they're labeled too. And yeah, on the, some of the models, you would have the uh, bulkhead here, access to the cabin or to the pilot house here. But this still gives you, you know, the three-sided protection, full glass, full glass, windshield wipers, but a lot more deck layout. You can fish a few more people on this one. See lots of storage here. Footrest here, there's your battery switches. More storage here, more storage on this side, including a cup holder. Um, twin sim rods on this, but that's the demo model, so that's the 264 price. I'd have to assume the, the 278 price, if you built it new, would not come with the electronics or the Minn Kota up there, which is a nice touch. And then, yeah, big, big cabin in here, more storage here, and yeah, you could sit two, sleep two adults here, no problem. Uh, probably more kids. There are filler cushions for that center area. There's a porta potty, or actually a porcelain head, right there under that cushion. Um, yeah, built here in Long Island, and uh, I like this one. I like all the Steigers. Um, I, one quibble is the bilge axis. It's a little better on this one than some of the other ones, but yeah, I wish they did a slightly better job with the access on their models. We didn't mention this, but a couple rear-facing mezzanine seats on the aft side of the, the helm seats. Oh, and this demo model, nice touch, has a Simrad screen here too. So you have the two Simrads up there and one here while you're fishing. You can, uh, you can check out the uh, direction, speed, and depth. 
All right, let's see what we have next. And the uh, regular 28, same specs, is 224,945. Uh, the demo here is 213, but the regular sale price is right there. So it's going to be built the same as that one, except it's more of a true pilot house design. All right, and there you go. A bunch of 27 to 28 foot pilot houses from Defiance, Steigercraft, North Coast. Um, and, uh, you know, I like all them. Uh, you know, the, there's that saying, I wouldn't kick her out of bed <laughs> when somebody asks you, what do you think of this girl? I would say the same thing for each of these models. I wouldn't kick any of them out. If I were offered any of these, I would happily accept them. Um, let me know what you think in the comments. Do you have a preference of one over the other? This is going to be the last, right? We did three in a row of the different pilot houses. That's what I love about Northeast fishing shows. They have Northeast boats. Uh, I love the Florida boat shows, but we typically don't get this volume of pilot houses down in Florida like we do up here in New York at the Tobey Beach Show. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. As always, if you like these videos, hit that like button. If you're not already a subscriber and you like content like this, please consider subscribing. And if you're not already a member of the channel, please consider joining. Lots of perks associated with that, including early access to videos.